Hi guys, my name is Lou. I am the frontman of the progressive death metal band Derelict Dream, and I'm going to be doing a video on 10 ways to write songs to annoy your bandmates and everyone around you. you know, not everyone around you, just your bandmates. Okay, number one, always tune your guitar. There's nothing worse than going to guitar and finding out that, oh god, it's out of tune! Especially when you don't have a tune around, that is the worst thing. And, um, you know, sometimes I've been just completely discouraged from writing just because of the fact that my guitar is out of tune. If it sounds good, you're gonna feel good and you're not gonna alright. Unless you're a blues guitarist. Number two, if it's a stringed instrument, always restring it. Again, Having rusty, dirty, grubby strings is terrible. And I've met guitarists who've said, oh yeah, I've had these same strings for about two years. Um, yeah, it's not a good thing. You need to restring your guitar. It's bad, it's wrong, it just is wrong. Unless you're a blues guitarist, then, then it's right, it's right, just keep doing what you're doing. Step three, song names. Just having a good song name can really inspire you to create an entire amazing, beautiful composition, and um, just by having a song name, I have managed to write entire songs on this site in, in about a day, something that spikes in my mind, it's just like, okay, guitar, drums, bass, more guitars, more drums, more bass, vocal melody, lyrics, vocals, done! Just get a song name, and, you know, you started, and it makes you want to finish. Number four, write songs on an instrument that um, you're comfortable with and an instrument that feels good and nice and professional to you and it makes you feel like, yeah, I've got it, I'm a, friend, I'm a pro, let's do this, let's do this and it, you know, it inspires you, it makes you feel good it makes you want to keep on doing it, it's like, it's like all this you know, the whole point is just keep on doing it and it's, you know, having an instrument that is comfortable to play and an instrument that looks good, feels good is just the best thing for writing UNLESS YOU'RE A BLUES GUITARIST! Number 5 Try and write music based on artwork i found that writing music based on a uh, certain piece of artwork that I see can be one of the most inspiring things You know, because I see a lot of things as a little movie inside my head I see, uh, you know, I actually s visually see what I write You know, I just like looking at things up, that's just the way I write the music matches the picture that I see, I'm just like, yes, it's epic and it's beautiful and it's good and it's mine. Number six. Don't be afraid to write when you feel bad. If you feel like the crap monster's just taking a huge dump on your head, just write something. Write about the crap monster taking a huge dump on your head. You know, sometimes it can inspire a great song. There's been a lot of songs inspired by depression and inspired by the crap monster taking a huge dump on your head. And when you can make something good out of a bad situation, then that can pull you out of whatever depressing feelings you get. It's, you know, I mean, look at the blues. Number seven. Find your prime writing time. Um, this could be anything as just a moment in the day where you're free and you uh, don't have anything to do and you just, you know, free time basically. Or it can be a time in the day or the night when you feel incredibly inspired. To me, one o'clock in the morning is my best time to write. The reason is, it's not because it's a magical hour. It's not like any kind of superstitious <laughs> I've heard some song on this The reason I find uh, one one a.m. is the best time to write is because I procrastinate like a mother. I just don't want to go to sleep. That's the reason I write. I'm just procrastinating and go to sleep. Simple as that. It's like, you know, if you don't want to do something, I mean, you know, I, I write music and I don't want to tie tomorrow. I, but there you go. If there's something that you don't want to do, write songs instead. Number eight. Experiment with different scales. For God's sake. I've known so many guitarists that only know the minor pentatonic of the blue scale or some sort of shit like that. They're just like, why can't I write any more? Why can't I write interesting songs? Why do my songs all sound the same? The reason is because you're not. Like learning any other different scales, you're not experimenting, you're not like getting your head outside the box. Learn the natural minor scale, and you know, that will help you out quite a lot, but not as much as it will when you actually find out how to use it. When you learn a scale, you just learn the shape, you just learn the group of notes. When you're playing the scale, you know, it could mean you're playing a note here and there, you know. 
be sort of stuck in the box generally. But when you're using the scale, it's not so much that you're doing what the scale says, it's that the scale is doing what you say. And that's how it should be. And another way to do that is don't just use one scale, use all of them. If you're going to be playing the Phrygian Dominant, play the Phrygian Dominant Pet Psych. Give it a go. You don't know what the Dominant Pet Psych is? Look it up. Number nine. Different tunings. Some of the best songs, or what I consider to be the best songs, have been weird tunings. Different tunings, just um, experimenting. Ghost Reveries by Opeth. That entire album, well, I don't, I'm not sure if the entire album was uh, in this tuning, but many, many of the songs were. They were all in open D minor add 9. The tuning just worked perfectly. And, you know, sure, you're not going to be able to use the same chords as you can, or um, the same sort of fingering pattern as you can with live standard tuning, but that's the fun part. Don't be afraid to experiment. Number 10, the last one. And this is more of a um, sort of inspirational type uh, thing. Um, the sort of lyrics and also getting ahead into what kind of feel you're song of. Whatever kind of music you're, you're into, whether it's power metal, uh, King Arthur, J.R. Tolkien, all that good stuff. If you're into like happy, happy bunny music, you know, uh, read some happy bunny. Oh, it's I don't know. If you're into like really dark, uh, ghostly, creepy, evil music like I am, listen to ghost stories. It's more of a sort of free, more enjoyable way of writing. You can just lose yourself in it. You just enjoy it. Just by uh, getting, getting your thoughts and your feelings out into the music. And then, um, and stuff like uh, keeping your strings sort of in tune and keeping your strings clean, keeping the guitar clean. Playing instruments that are comfortable to you, help you uh, help it sort of make it feel professional, make it feel more uh, sort of real, and it's not just messing about you. If you mean it, you mean business. You have the whole idea of experimenting with different scales and different um, uh, different tunings, and that will just let you uh, let your musical horizons expand and um, let you do more different things and. Uh, Hopefully you'll be able to come up with something that no one no one's done before and something that a lot of people can take inspiration from. But it's gonna be very hard to do something that no one's done before because pretty much everything you can hear, everything you've sort of heard has been done before. And that's the point. If you take something that someone else has done, you take something that someone else has done, you both like it, mash it together, see if it works. If it doesn't work, throw it away, try a different mixture. Just keep on trying it and then maybe one day you'll come up with something that's just like the ultimate core of musical beautifulness. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and um, if you want to hear some of our music, just to make sure that I'm not you, uh, you can hear it in the, I'm going to put some links down in the description below. It's up on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, HMV Music, I think. Stream it, buy it, illegally download it, whatever you want. Have fun, have a great day, and thanks for watching.